Hey guys, hey, welcome to another day in the life. I'm gonna give you guys an update on my life and how things are going. Got my little cup of coffee. It is early in the morning. It is August, so that's when I'm filming this, and it is 50 degrees outside. Mountain life! But yeah, so let's see. Update on health wise. So, of course. I still have diabetes eye roll um it has been a very annoying frustrating journey if you have diabetes and you know um you have a lot of you know good progress and then of course you have your setbacks um you have a lot of complications that happen with having it and it's very frustrating annoying and it really does affect your everyday life but of course taking your medicine eating properly drinking lots of water can help offset it if you have like type 2 like i do if you have type 1 that's a little bit different that's um more of a you're kind of born with it and you have to take your <laughs> insulin forever but like type 2 you know you get it randomly like I got it because I had gestational diabetes twice and with my daughter I it was my pregnancy was so bad with gestational diabetes and I guess I must have like it usually goes away after you have the baby but you're supposed to check for it I didn't check and I thought it went away so for three years I guess I must have had it low-key like was pre-diabetic and I didn't know because I didn't check until I was feeling really sick and I went to the doctor and they're like you have diabetes and I was like this is why I feel like I do like I mean like I was sick for like months I didn't know what was wrong with me and the people think oh you have diabetes you just have to like eat healthy like you know it really affects your your day-to-day -day life if your sugar isn't in check and if your body isn't taking the proper medication for it um you there's days where i can't even get out of bed there's days that my, my body hurts so much i feel like i got ran over by a train um for women i don't know if it's from for men too but for women we get yeast infections it starts in our stomach which is horrible and then it shoots down to the vagine and then you're just like for two weeks struggling because it takes two weeks to go away because all of the candida and like sugar in your system because everything everything has sugar everything turns into sugar when you have diabetes i mean like i can't have anything that has carbs or sugar in it if the only thing i can eat <laughs> that doesn't have carbs is meat <laughs> like chicken i got some chicken and i'll be fine but it's very frustrating of course veggies veggies don't have um well certain veggies don't have carbs so you can eat to kind of like keep your sugar down but definitely taking your medication is a game changer like sometimes when i'm running low on my medicine i will like cut my medicine in half and not the pill i mean like the dosage like so i was able to take two times a day which actually so funny I thought I was supposed to be taking it three times a day, so I kept taking it three times a day. And then I looked at the bottle, and it was saying two times a day. And I'm like, I'm over medicating myself. This is why I'm running out of this. But I learned <laughs> that I did, can't read. But that was my medication before, because I'm doing better. So they lower down this dosage, which is great. But um, so I was doing it once a day instead of two, which in my mind it was supposed to be three, but twice a day whenever i lowered down my medication and that affected my body so much i mean don't ever, ever like if a doctor like i know like sometimes we're like doctors we always prescribe so blah, blah, blah. but for certain things when if a doctor gives you a prescription for something like that's serious like diabetes because you know you can die it's called diabetes for a reason you gotta take the medication i i knew that but i also was like oh my god i'm running low and like if you are running low and it's 
before your referral your refill time you're not gonna get medicine so i would in my mind i was like i'm just gonna cut how many times i take it which my dummy self was taking it three times a day when i was supposed to take it twice a day guys i'm a hot mess i'm a hot mess mom but other than that i'm doing good obviously i'm doing getting my medication properly i'm trying my best to get better and stronger and hopefully the diabetes goes away and if it doesn't that's fine i'm just gonna keep eating healthy and drinking lots of water taking my medicine like i've gotten to a routine where it's just okay like i can still live life i'm not gonna like let it ruin my life forever but it i do have my setbacks and i do have my days where i'm so sick i can't get out of bed and i feel bad for my kids because they're like oh no mommy's sick again i don't want them growing up with like their mom who's always sick because my daughter every day when we wake up she's like mommy are you good today or are you are you sick today and i'm just like i'm fine and i'm just like great now i've traumatized my kids but then thinking that my mom their mom's always sick <laughs> one time my daughter was like are you gonna die i'm like oh my god my kids are only six and four and they actually the craziest thing and i'm just like no i'm not I'm not gonna die because i'm taking care of myself but <sighs> another thing another way to traumatize your kids <laughs> have a sickness have a uh what is it what do i have what is it called uh underlying health condition have one of those you would traumatize your kids apparently but yeah so that's that on the health front on the homeowner front house is great i just guys i just power washed this deck hold on look how clean that wall is look how white those railings are guys when i tell you let me tell you something this deck was green like I love green. Green's my favorite color. Obviously, I have a green sweater on. My eyes are green. I'm a May Taurus baby. Green emerald. Let's go. But when I tell you, there was so much dirt and gunk on these. These were not white. They were like a beige with a. The heck, what kind of bug was that? They were beige with a hint of green, brown, and some black stuff. The walls. Or I wish you know I'm such an idiot I should have done it before and after to show you guys the walls were disgusting so nasty almost the color of my sweater like I'm not even exaggerating it was disgusting my mom had a power wash um, machine and I power washed the crap out of this deck this deck you can eat off of it all right that's how freaking clean i even clean like you see the railings behind us are like wood ones i even power clean that because it was gunk on it and i kind of peeled off some of the protectant on the wood which is really bad so i have to go order some protectant before it rains and then my wood gets rotted and then we have to change the railing so yeah my husband's not really happy with that but it's like whatever but anyway so i did that um our basement we have to fix that problem it kind of leaks when it like rains a lot but like all of these things are fun when you are a homeowner so when you're gonna buy a house make sure you find out if your house floods make sure the leaking pipes whatever like all that fun stuff but it doesn't matter if you find out all that stuff because once you buy the house the house tends to uh fall apart once you buy it like everyone i know who's ever gotten a house is like yeah it was great and then like two weeks later something happened it's just like but our house is amazing i absolutely love this house it is like the perfect size for us and i like so happy like i manifested this guys i manifested this house manifested this beautiful backyard like I get to wake up to look at that every single morning and my introverted self that's an extrovert body is so happy that I'm away from people like I I come from a city where everyone is on top of each other and you know everything about everyone everyone's in everyone's business I'm in a place where I don't even know my neighbor's name <laughs> 
like I guess I could find out but like I don't want to I like being in solitude my husband calls me a hermit and I'm like I'm good with that because I'm social when I have to be but I'd rather be by myself <laughs> in my house away from people nice and comfortable with my kids just having a good old time I don't know tell me you tell me if you you're like me if you're not like me well we need the same cup of tea or coffee because I don't really drink tea I you know I try drinking tea I try because you know I like all I'm in that whole natural holistic lifestyle but I only like fruity teas and if it's not fruity oof, oof, I just I can't do it so I'm gonna stick to coffee there is no shame in my game I like coffee oh I just got this new coffee is a mushroom coffee it's called rise rise yeah um, I'm gonna definitely check them out and let you guys know that's natural organic and it's made of mushrooms so it's a little holistic if you know what I mean but yeah definitely I'm gonna check it out and maybe I'll post it here when I edit it I'm not sure I'm not making any promises all right so let's see I spoke about health I spoke about the house oh my kids are great my son's starting school at the end of the month we start early here not that early some people's kids already started it's like the second week of august um he's going to second grade he's taking the school bus this is his first time so he's freaking out um i'm freaking out as well because i'm definitely gonna cry i am that mom that cries when she takes her kids to school yes i am i'm proud of it i don't care i'm a cry baby i am a cry baby i cry for everything i cry when i'm happy when i'm sad when i'm angry which really pisses me off when i cry when i'm angry because it's like damn I don't want people to see me crying freaking angry but anyways i'm a cry baby and it's okay because it doesn't mean you're weak people actually i feel like people who cry are a lot stronger because we let out our emotions and yeah um so that's that um i finally <laughs> all right so i've been married for 10 years i've been with my husband since i was 16 so we've been together for like 16 years um but We've been married for 10 years and I I just changed my social security name to, to his name. <laughs> Literally, like we went, we did a 10 year vow renewal and um, we came back and he's like, oh, you know what? You need to get a Pennsylvania ID. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I need to get one, right? You know what? Really well that they weren't going to give it to me because I don't have a social security card that has like my married name it has my maiden name and apparently in pennsylvania or maybe it's just now because when i first got my id it was 10 years ago when i changed my id to like my married name it was 10 years ago so i guess rules might have changed oh my god i sound so old 10 years ago okay anyways um they didn't care that my last name didn't match my married name they were like oh whatever it's fine because i had a marriage certificate that said you know proof the heck was that i don't know all right i don't know what that was i don't think i recorded just in case something comes out of the woods and gets me um so they didn't care whatever that was 10 years ago so when i went to the dmv here they're like um yeah so the computer is not letting us put you in because it says it's two different people i'm like what you talking about in new york they don't care she's like well in pennsylvania they care so whatever so i finally 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 went to social security put my married name now i gotta wait two weeks and then i could get in the pennsylvania id but my husband's like our marriage is a fraud why okay someone tell me why are men so dramatic so dramatic he's like our marriage is a fraud we're 10 years well this has not been a real 10 years you have never had my day i'm like i had your day. everything everything i have has picking in it um but doesn't have my the one thing that doesn't have his name is my social security and anyway so now i finally changed it 10 years later and 
I'm going to have a new ID and then um, it's going to be fine. Oh my God, our IDs here are so pretty. That Pennsylvania ID is so pretty compared to the New York one. Although the New York one is pretty cool, but when I get it, I'll show you guys. Well, I don't know if I'm going to show you my ID because maybe I'll just like blur out the, uh, the information on it. But then I'll cover most of it so then you can't see it. So never mind. Just Google Pennsylvania IDs. They're really pretty. Um, but yeah, so actually my life is not that interesting. <laughs> Pretty boring. Oh, I went camping. We went river rafting. I didn't die this time. Well, almost died this time because I'm obviously right here unless I'm a ghost. Oh my God, I like that movie. What's that movie with Nicole Kidman? And they're like, um, the kids, they can't see the sun. But at the end, it's like they were all really dead. But she thought they were alive and everybody thought they were alive because they can see them. What's that movie? Oh, it's going to bother me. It's an old movie. If you know that movie or if you watch this video for this long, because like right now I see it's 16 minutes, let me know down in the comments. Because I'm probably not editing this. I'm probably just going to post it like this. Yeah. And edit it. But <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. This is like a confessionals. Like, you know, um, when we go camping, our friend always wants to do these confessionals. He's like, let's do confessionals in the tent. We'll put a video camera and everybody goes in. It's like um, the real world. I'm showing my age. Remember the real world? Or like any of those like shows where they would have like a confessional camera. And it's like they'll talk crap about everybody else. This is my life confessional, guys. Um, But yeah, so... That's pretty much my life. We, so I went to DR this summer to do our vow renewal. It was awesome. Some of our friends went, some of our family went, and it was really great. Then I went camping. We went water rafting. I posted all that in my Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it is Chrissy7. And let me know that you're following me from YouTube, and I'll follow you back. Um, but, yeah. I don't think... Oh, and I'm going on a cruise... In January, guys, it's gonna be fun. Oh, wait, is it in January? I don't know. I'm going on a cruise sometime next year, and I cannot wait. I'm going to record the whole thing so you guys can check it out. Um, and I'm probably gonna post about my camping trip either before this or after this. I'm not really sure, but if you haven't seen the camping trip, it was great. We made I made I brought my Zule kitchen, which if you use my code. And my link, or my link down below, as Zule, you could get 10 to or is it 15% off? One of those. Zule Kitchen. Anyways, I brought my portable blender. I'll probably put a snippet here. I guess I'm going to have to edit this if I'm putting a snippet, but I'm probably not putting a snippet, so I'm not going to edit it. Oh, I'm going to have to edit this video. Damn it. All right, so I made my Zule Kitchen uh, blender and I brought it with me as a portable blender. All you have to do is charge it and then you can use it anywhere. So obviously when we go camping, my friend always picks the rural, is it rural or rustic? No, I call it rustic. It's rural setting where there's no water, no electricity, right? Which is fine. I got used to it. You know, live in the mountains, off the grid. I love being off the grid. Oh, guys, if you've never gone off grid, go off grid, go off grid. It's worth it. But so we went, um, yeah, so we made a watermelon shot with vodka and watermelon, and it was amazing. I put a little bit of seltzer to, like, you know, even it up, but it was so good. And, I, of course, I had my blender with me, and it was slushed. It was, but, yeah, so definitely check out Zule Kitchen. I'll probably put the link, the information down below because I'm probably not editing this video. I'm not going to put my code. I think my code is Chrysalis10. Or Chris Ellis 15 or Chrissy 10 or Chrissy 15. I can't remember it at the moment. Oh, the dog is upset. We're barking at a squirrel. But yeah. But yeah, guys. Definitely going off grid, being out in nature is like so therapeutic. I highly, highly, highly recommend. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this long video. It's like 20 minutes long. 
Um, and if you stood this long, thanks for watching. Have a good day, afternoon, or evening, whichever time you're watching. And like always, please, please, please stay safe out there and like, subscribe, and share. Bye now.